We are here sat on Elvington Airfield in York, uh, the spiritual home and the current home for Van Love Fest. And the lovely guys, John and Jess from True Blue Travellers, popped up to say hello. So uh, I thought while well, we've got them here, because they're very mysterious, we'll find out a little bit more about them. John, we're going to start with you, if we may. Um, you and I bond over something, uh, which is Crocs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Love a Croc. Just selling the virtues. What is it about Crocs you like? I don't know. It's the versatility of them, I think. You can weld in them. You know what I mean? You could run in them. You should not weld in them. People should not weld in you them. Could do, you could do any Olympic event in them, I'd say. You know what I mean, that's, that's what I'd like. Yeah, but you could do all sorts. And for the uh, counter argument, what is it you don't like about them? They are hideous. <laughs> I mean, they're not beautiful. I mean, I'm the first to admit that. But I mean, practicality wise, but just... let's ask this question Do you wear them with, don't sli out me. with the slippers inside as well all the time? Okay, so I always wear slipper socks in the house. I don't like I have a weird thing about the floor having sand on it and your feet. Anyway, that's completely off topic. And when I go outside, I do wear my little slippers yeah. in John's. So box. she hates them, but she also wears them. So. So your channel's gone crazy so quickly. How did you meet? What's your backstory? How did you get to this point? Yeah. That is a question. Long story, but basically I went out on a working holiday visa to Australia, met Jess. We pretty much got together straight away, bought a house, renovated that, sold it. Come back that to was England. in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. Um, um, yeah, we sold that, moved over here 10 years ago. Right. Um, and bought a little place um, in Norfolk and uh, built the shed first, lived in a caravan in the driveway. Yeah, <laughs> when people ask how we got a big workshop, that's how. Um, and then built a house a few years later. Um, and then we renovated a few houses that we did up and sold and got to a point where we were able to go, let's take you out and try and travel and see how it goes. And we've just been incredibly lucky. So it was go until the money runs out and then we'll go back to work. Yeah. And then thankfully YouTube took off and it's now, yeah, now That's, doing us proud. So. Yeah. When, when did you start your social media journey? Um, so John had a Facebook account with a fake name. <laughs> he wanted to just buy things off of Marketplace. I, like, no I, like, I like to stay incognito, <laughs> don't I? I like Can I just like, was it a male or female name? <laughs> it, well, uh, no. He could, one of my friends found it, and that's why it came a fake name. So what he called himself it? David Lynn. Oh, like, David Lynn. From, yeah, as in from Friends, friends yeah. when right, Joey okay. storms out. David yeah. Lynn. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, but uh, but then so we yeah, started I, December, a yeah. year and a half ago, and didn't we? I didn't have Instagram or anything. So, so then, that recently, yeah, so a year Christmas, and a half. yeah, wow. Christmas yeah. 2022. And um, we put our jobs and did it. And it just it it the same we found. I, I mean, mean just, yeah, that just took off for us really, didn't it? Yeah. So that was uh, yeah. That, that's where I joined your journey, the Sainsbury's thing. I mean, one thing converting a Sainsbury's brand, but actually finding two people that are so good on camera with a really good rapport between you is. Is rare. That's lovely, thank you. We just have a bit of fun, don't we? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Just a bit of banter, and uh, some people love it, some people hate it. But <laughs> yeah. we're definitely uh, not for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody is, though, right? I mean, there's there's people that love you for who you are, and there's yeah. people that really don't love you. I mean, the, we know that from running festivals. There's certainly yeah. people yeah. that don't love what we're doing. Well, this is what I love about YouTube, the world of YouTube. There's always something for someone. Doesn't yeah. matter what what you want to watch. So if you don't like that, there's something else to watch. So. Yeah. I agree, but not before you leave a nasty comment underneath. <laughs> so, yes, that's the rules. Yeah. Okay, so year and a half, you've had massive growth. 60,000 Instagram, 70-something thousand on YouTube. Is, is this where you're going now? Is this, is this the future? Is it a temporary thing? or what's, what's We'd love just, for it to be. Yeah, yeah I think. Just see how it goes, really. That's the whole, it's been the, it from the beginning, really, isn't it? There's no, no plan. It's just we're going to see how it goes. If we enjoy it, we'll do it. If we don't, if we, as soon as we stop enjoying it, we'll stop. And at the minute, we love it. Everything about it, from the editing to the, the having the fun. Sometimes you question yourself when you're doing certain things. You know what I mean? When you're <laughs> in bikinis in gardens and things like that. But, um, but yeah. But then or you, naked in the snow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but uh, I yeah. just it's given us the most incredible opportunities over the last eighteen months. And like sometimes it doesn't feel real. And I'll like watch one of our reels back or something of like when we went to the Arctic and. It, I'm just like, oh my Amazing. God, we've done this. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think like one of the things for us is we don't know like what our dream camper is and we've got all these things on our bucket list to do. So we're like, well, 
let's build some different vehicles where we've got the chance to and take them on specific trips and try them out and that's where the old big reds come from and yeah, yeah I don't know it's just what, what were amazing. you doing for work before you started doing the YouTube thing professionally so I've always been a mechanic since 15 left school early and just been a mechanic since really yeah and, uh, and then, you can see that right because it's quite <laughs> handy let's be honest he's very handy and he's so yeah. annoying he's one of those people right that he, anything he tries he's good at so like he can juggle he's good at all sports like every single sport he's good at running and like the one thing I had over him was swimming right because I was a really good swimmer we did a triathlon he taught himself to swim by watching <laughs> YouTube videos and is now faster than me and it's absolutely infuriating um, but you asked what I did so uh, I worked in uh, disability support services in Australia oh, yeah. and then when I came out here um, worked in local government doing community development health promotion um, and went teaching for a little while, but went back to local government, and that's what I was doing before I left. Mechanic and local government, not known for taking risks. <laughs> no! <laughs> YouTube was a big step, right, for you guys? What, yeah. what, was the, what was the deciding factor to go, do you know what, this is it, we're going to do it? Um, what was it? Oh, I got fed up with work. Just got fed up with work, and I was bored at work. So I'd do my job, and I don't like to do it slow, so I'd rattle the job. And then I'd just be sitting there bored and I thought, I hate just doing nothing in life. We've got to do something different. So yeah. I dropped down to three days a week. I thought that'd fix it because then I was at home for the rest and it was even worse. So yeah, we, we decided then that we need to have a change and that was it really. So I, mean, I was actually just going to take a sabbatical and then I thought, okay, we only live once. We've had so many like lovely people that we know that have had unpredictable things happen in life and health scares or really serious health issues that... We've got the opportunity to give this a go. I just think we'd be like laughing in the face of whoever's given whatever world university believe in that we've got this chance to not take it. We've just got to give it a go. The Sainsbury's van. D did you sit down and think this could do really well on YouTube, or was it one of those? <laughs> you, you know what? what That's a great the idea. strangest thing. So we just wanted a cheap van. So we bought a well. The Sainsbury's van was one of the cheapest vans to convert. And the day before we put it out, I said to Jess, I think this is going to flop because we hadn't seen anybody else do them. And yeah, and we thought, who's going to watch because nobody else is doing them. Yeah. And then we put it out and that first video has now done like 600,000 views. And it, yeah, so it just went off and like, we've had so many people now message us and say they've been building their own and things like that. And yeah. And the idea for going to the Arctic, so it was something we've both always wanted to do. But when we were looking for a van to do up and, and thinking what we might want to do, we saw it and we thought, well, what could be more perfect to keep us warm in an awful climate? Right. It's not awful, but freezing cold climate. We'll reverse the fridge and it will be the best insulation you could get. Yeah. So that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. And, but we thought, well, no one's going to watch it. And they did, unbelievably. So. There's, a, there's a great logic, though, in finding something that's so familiar, which, of course, those food Mercedes vans <laughs> are, because you see them every day, everywhere. So hindsight there probably is a logic to why people want to join that journey because seeing their Sainsbury's van turned into a camper and an incredible one at that it kind of makes sense yeah kind of, you can see why it's why it's done so well well we had so many people message us that were Sainsbury's drivers yeah. they loved the series uh, so many people that didn't like campers didn't do anything about it but they saw the Sainsbury's van on the logo and wanted to see what it was all about so is is the uh, Sainsbury's camper is that a keeper or is that going to be moved on it's a keeper. Can we even ask that? Yet? Yeah, you can ask us anything. Okay. Um, uh, so it's, a, <laughs> um, it's at least at very least a temporary keeper because it's going to America at the end of the year well, and Canada. Oh, wow. So we're going to okay. ship it out to um, Halifax and we're going to go and do Canada and Alaska and the North American Arctic. We know it works because we did Norway and Sweden and Finland in it, so we know it's good for it because yeah. apparently it gets even colder over there. So yeah, yeah that but will be interesting. Just, you didn't fancy converting something over there and moving over there for a while and doing the job. Well, that was the other thing because we did that in Australia, went converted a van there and travelled in that and mm. we thought, especially to with the YouTube thing, to try and gain subscribers over there and things like that and you then got time to do it over there. So we did think about that. But The thing that I think was because we wanted to do both Arctics, the amount of tools and stuff that you would need to make a vehicle Arctic ready in the US would be quite an undertaking. Um, and we know that this vehicle can do it and the Arctic isn't somewhere you mess about in. Do you know what I mean? It's like the outback of Australia. You mess up and 
yeah, yeah. you can get yourself into a really dodgy situation quite quickly. So, you know, for some of our other travel in America, and we do, and uh, potentially all the way down to Mexico, we'd like to go, um, we could potentially do that with another vehicle. But I think, well, because we've got to pay the shipping costs to get the Sainsbury's van over there, we'll do as much while we can over there. But the, Canada and the US is huge. So but also, no way to do it how country. good is it to take the Sainsbury's van to both <laughs> Arctic, Sainsbury's <laughs> van to go to America and things like that? Your latest project. Epic. <laughs> Big Red. Right? Big Red. <laughs> Tell us about Big Red. Um, so, we absolutely love the Defender that we built. And um, we love being able to get to the remote spots and the out the way places and to get off road a little bit in it. But it is a little bit tight, uh, which, particularly when the weather's a bit grim, can be a little bit um, claustrophobic. <laughs> so, with the Pinsgower, it is even more capable off-road. They're like one of the most capable off-road vehicles there are. Um, but it gives us like more than a meter's extra space in the back, which mm. everyone knows who's interested in any kind of van, how huge that is. So we're really excited to see like what we can do with the space, but it's still only just over five meters long um, and 1.8 wide. So it's literally the same footprint as the Landy, yeah. but we just get so much more living space. But it's not practical. It's not good on fuel. It's not practical. So well, what's the engine in it? Uh, it's, uh, it's a 2.4 litre Volkswagen engine, isn't it? Petrol so, or diesel? Diesel. Diesel, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I think uh, there's talk it might do up to 20 miles per gallon, but I don't think it's going to be that. It's probably going <laughs> to be more lucky. 15, I reckon. But it's just, again, it's and one it's of them slow. things. Yeah, <laughs> gutless. But it's one of them things that we've got the opportunity to try it and do it, mm. and they don't come up every now and again. They stop making them now. So, yeah. yeah. yeah and we love fun... like restoring old things. Yeah. And, and the fact yeah. it's an next fire truck as well. Yeah, like, yeah brilliant. So, um, <laughs> have you got a plan for the next one then, or is it do this one and see how it goes and then carry on? Um, we've got a fair few ideas of things yeah. we'd love to do. Um, we'd love to do a mini, an old school mini, mm -hmm. wow. and convert Different that direction. into a camper. So like yeah. a proper micro, the smallest camper you can do. Yeah. Right. Um, how tall are you, John? Uh, six two. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. I've but, always uh, wanted a vintage mini, so you right. just have to. Yeah. Like this. So we're going to do one of them. A Unimog, got to do a Unimog. So, right, cool. yeah. And we'd love to do a GRP box body build from scratch as well, maybe on the back of a Defender or I don't know, yeah. that'd be really cool. So, And loads of different trips that we'd love to do in those. My problem is my bucket list doesn't like, we tick things off, but I just add more things on. So <laughs> it's kind of a never ending So list. as long as YouTube carries on paying and the interest is there and the people follow you, you'll keep going. Yeah. yeah, that's it. As long as we're enjoying it and other people are enjoying it. So that's the main thing, really. Dream vehicle, then. If you could do anything, budget aside. I honestly don't think we could answer it because, well, you, you answer for you. But for me, the thing with van life is there's a compromise in everything and there's good and bad to everything. So you get a massive, great big vehicle and it's awesome. You get so much living space and it's, you know, it's beautiful. You can have all your luxuries. Oh, but you can't Tesco. park yeah. it's not even Tesco. It's like we anyway. love to travel where we move constantly. Yeah. And, you know, you can't just park that up out in Rome city centre and go toddy and toddle in and see that. But I find <laughs> you something. don't know until you try. Mm. So we never thought, we, we, and honestly, we built the Defender and I thought we'd hate it. Well, mm. you did, yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought it's small. How is your old noisy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's brilliant. We love it. Yeah. So Even without, more than we thought we If would. we hadn't tried, because the amount of people that message us and saying, oh, no, the same, I'll take the same as we found every, any day. And I think, I'd love you to try it though, to see the difference because yeah. Yeah. you love some bits about it and some bits you don't. So that's the best thing about what yeah. we're doing. You get to try it and experience the good, the bad and the ugly. So yeah. I think that's the thing that set our mind on this idea that there isn't maybe a perfect van, but a perfect vehicle for different adventures was when we went to Australia, like the little van that we built, I loved it. It was amazing. But we were desperate for a 4x4, do you know what I mean? To really get to those proper off the beaten track remote places. Um, and because you can live outside so much there and yeah, there's so many things that having a full really good hardcore four wheel drive could, could get you to. Um, but in other places you don't want that, you know, so yeah. it's, yeah, you want the com creature comforts and space and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the. So I still haven't got a dream vehicle. Oh yeah. I think it'd have to be a troopy. Oh. Cause we like, um, What's, tell me. A, to a, a troopy, you okay. know, a Land Cruiser. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we always wanted one of them when we were in Australia, but we couldn't afford one, so we didn't get one. And then we went back and we was like, should we get one? So we have to get one like that. So that's for me, 
we'll have to do a troopy at some stage yeah. and probably okay. go back to ours as well. Similar kind of conversion to Defender with a roof box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah, the troopies are like pop tops right. and pretty much similar, but yeah, and then we'll do the big lap in, in that in ours, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Year and a half into YouTube, right? We've tried through the Van Love channel to do some pieces. My excuse is we're running businesses, so I don't have enough hours in the day to edit. But the creative process is a lot tougher than I think a lot of people realise. And there's a lot of van lifers out there who want to get into YouTube. Apart from saying, don't bother, what would your advice be? Now you, and, and what is your creative process that you go through? Okay, so I think I would say, give it a go. And I would say, but the first thing to do is to hold a camera up in front of you and walk down the road or whatever and talk to it because learning to do that is the biggest skill there is. And I think it immediately, like we made some lovely friends who started to do YouTube and he came back like after he tried it for a bit and went, no one should ever be allowed to comment on YouTube until they've tried to talk yeah. to a phone. I agree a hundred percent. You critical people out there have so much to answer for because so much energy goes. It's like converting a van every time. It's relentless, isn't it? Yeah. We try our best to reply to all of our comments, um, of, like across all the platforms and stuff. And we think if people can take the time to watch one of our videos, then we and and write a comment, then we want to try and reciprocate that for as long yeah. as we possibly can as well i mean our world but, but. you're always gonna you're always gonna upset someone because we we did think because we were losing we still lose subscribers on a oh. regular <laughs> basis that will say i don't like that i'm, I'm subscribing like one of my skits well, or something like that know, yeah but, but it is what it is if i don't do anything that i think is offensive somebody will get offended so mm. you've just got to be yourself if you if you watch somebody you have to give them a couple of chances to properly see if you yeah. like it or not so yeah. i agree it's 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 like dating <laughs> you don't propose on the first date do you do yeah. you john oh yeah true yeah, yeah. good yeah. point yeah. how long does it take to propose <laughs> uh, well, he's gone very nervous <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 14 years now it's how long you've been you've been together 14 years yeah. i think we've got to go though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well that's that's a good innings yeah. you don't even look older how old are you I'm... Can you say that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> We're not discussing uh, No, I'm here. just doing, trying to calculate. I'm, I'm 35. I'm 38. So... Wow, well, you were young when you got started. I was 21. Uh, oh, look at see. She <laughs> stole my prime, is she? <laughs> you stole mine. <laughs> it can come at any time, YouTube success. <laughs> just goes to show. In terms of a creative process, um, so we do have a plan for certain things so that like when we rock up say today that we don't look like massive plunkers with no idea what we're going to say <laughs> um, but most of our stuff is we just I mean, and especially because we move so much when we're traveling or even with the vehicle you don't know what's going to come up so it's just we have a go and have a laugh and yeah. bring you guys along with us really yeah. but yeah give it a go if you think about doing it I'd say give it a go because you can always say we tried it didn't like it yeah, whatever. But if you didn't try, you can always might say, oh, "Wish we'd have given that a go." Yeah. yeah. Um, How far do you think it's going to go? Like, it's it's hard to say because you don't want to seem arrogant, but and think it could go big. But then you've got to dream big, haven't you? But it's weird because I almost like the way it is now mm. because we can comment to everyone. I do all of our planning and background stuff behind all of I've our. I've never guessed. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say we just rock up at places, it's not. There's a lot that I do behind that. Um, he has no idea where we're going and what we're doing, but I have a plan. Um, but one of my apprehensions about doing YouTube was about that John would never sit in front of a computer, ever. I can barely get him to watch an episode of like a TV show he absolutely loves. Um, and so I was thinking, right, how on earth am I going to do all of the editing and all of that sort of stuff and do all of our planning and background stuff as well? But John does the vast majority of it now like and really? he loves it it's I'm, unreal i'm just the brains and the beauty <laughs> <laughs> getting the angle right in the bikini right? <laughs> are, um, are you going to set up an only fans account so i've uh, got one mate you've got one <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> I'm not, no. <laughs> don't please he talks about it all the blooming time um that yeah. takes some real confidence to do what you say <laughs> i like it every now and again i think are we is it a bit too stupid and then I think yeah, it's all just a bit of fun. And most people who watch see Take it as that. that so, yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. But it's... we do do things and, like, we just think, what on you earth know... are we doing? Oh, for example, the diving in the snow. 
the naked dive in the snow in, where were we? Finland. Finland. I was just about to do it, naked, outside this car park, all these people, empty car park, these people pull up, and there's me, and I, but we have to get the shot, I mean, I've decided we're doing it, so we just have to do it, don't we? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. The thing is though, like, that is John in everyday life, like, it's not hammed up, that's what I... We toned it down, we have to tone it down, there's a lot taken out that Jess won't let me put in. There I'm is like... so much that I'm like, no! You're going to have to have a second channel with Oh, it'd be brilliant, like Colin Fly Burns, on the wall, yeah, yeah. 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 Band John Uncensored, yeah. That's why I'd love it if like you could uncensor it. Like people say about the blurring. I'd take the blur away. Let's have the blur away. <laughs> and anybody who watches those blurred shots, just imagine, right? We, because that is one of the things that I do in the edit. I have to go through every single frame, sometimes 60 frames per second, and make sure that every little blurring out big little, John. Little John is blurred. How do you identify or how do you perceive band life? What, what do you what what do you think it is? So I would say we're van travellers. Sure. We are. We don't live in our van. We just think that it is the best way to see the world. Like yeah. my favourite thing is you go and you go to your attraction or whatever, and you come back in the car and you have a cup of tea and a bicky and you can chill and then you can go again. And I love eating out, but I also love cooking. So you can have your home cooked meals and stuff like that so most people who watch this channel will know but we ended up with this almost by accident in lockdown we didn't buy it to be a recreational vehicle we bought it to be a work vehicle but the opportunities and the, the that feeling of freedom which is why we use the tagline in van love freedom of life on the road mm -hmm. that sense of freedom you get when you sit in the driver's seat and it's like anything's possible now yeah you can go anywhere and yeah. stay anywhere like tonight i'm staying here at elvington on probably on the runway because yeah. why not yeah and you see places that you would never see if you even Absolutely. if you hire a car you would never see and like some of my favorite places we've ever found are because we're going looking for a park up yeah right Do you know, because we pretty much always wild camp so but you know you go down these tiny little country lanes and find these beautiful rivers and things or whatever that you would you just never go and see if you're traveling in any other way right. so. but then when you get fed up you can decide that day so if you go on a two-week holiday if you get fed up halfway through has to book flights, like do all that sort of Absolutely, stuff. Yeah. Whereas in the van, you're like, should we go home today? Let's go. Let's go home. Yeah. And you just <laughs> drive. stay for another day or go yeah. there or yeah. yeah, or vice versa. Yeah, because yeah. I do a huge with our trips, I do a huge amount of planning of all of the things to go and see and do and how everything works. But I never ever plan an itinerary. Right. Um so other like I write down the dates that things are on, but if we get to them we get to them, if we don't we don't. And so we love that we could get to a place and love it and spend a week there or we can just pass through. What are you expecting from your first van life based festival? Being that you haven't done one before. Fun. That's yeah. what I want. That's well, the main reason I'm coming really. Like I want to be, have a bit of fun and enjoy meeting every because there's loads of people that watch the videos as well and this is one way we can get to meet people as well yeah. um so yeah looking forward to putting a face to a name as well because there's so yeah, many people there's so many to. people that like have sent us so many lovely messages and we've chatted to them and yeah. you feel like you know them but you've never actually got to meet mm. them so it gives us an opportunity to do that and yeah. um i'm so excited to watch ellie Sachs. i cannot wait oh, she's, she's amazing. always wanted to watch her play so i'm so excited for that um, I love a good old boogie as well, so I'm looking for. And I think that's probably the reason that we chose Van Love, is because it is a proper festival. You've got music and dancing, and I don't know. It's just it feels like it's going to be a really great party. So. And the fancy dress. <laughs> I'm moving here, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. We haven't picked our costumes yet, There's have so we? So many options. Yeah, quite a lot that happens in the festival comes back to Joe and I because we have to be. You know the, the silly ones that will do anything and get involved. It's really nice to meet two people who are actually going to take some of that weight away from <laughs> us this year and do some of those crazy things. I think you are going to get inundated with people coming to say hello. Well, I hope so. Yeah, that's, that's what, yeah like, I hope they do. And I'll, I'll remind you of that on Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's a tough question, right? And it's got to be a combined approach on this, otherwise you'll be on separate journeys, right? So we go for a dream journey, mm -hmm. dream vehicle. Dream road, dream record playing while you're on it. Ooh. <laughs> I think the best thing about doing what we're doing now is we're doing the dreams. So the America, I think that's most people's yeah. dream, isn't it? So, so I said to my friend at a wedding the other night, and that's something we've said since we first met, that we'd love to do the Americas. 
And I said to a friend at a wedding the other night that my lo when you asked me what my lottery dream was, it was that I would fly to Alaska, buy a motorhome and drive all the way through Canada and the US and down to Central America. And we're going to get to do that. We haven't won the lottery, life. but we have in life almost that mm. we can get to live that dream. So I think that's probably the trip, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the vehicle, as much as we love the Sainsbury's van, um, and should be perfect to the Arctic, it would have to be something that's four-wheel drive, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. If no money's in not, uh, uh, yeah, it'd be yeah. a four-wheel drive. And especially because it's in America, we could probably afford to go for a bit bigger beastie. Okay. Because they've got... Sprinter got level or even bigger than that? No, I think, yeah, Sprinter 4x4. Four four. Okay. Sprinter 4x4 four yeah. four with, with a GRP box. So the Sainsbury's van, but 4x4. Four four. Yeah. yeah. And then Dream Record, are you asking like an album or one song? Okay, I, I think one song. Um, so there's a song called Automatic Driver by okay. LaRue. And we played that on repeat on our first um, French, Euro road, trip, French yeah. road trip. And just you turn it on and it, you're just there. Yeah. And because we've now played it on every road trip we've done, you kind of like turn it on and you can see yourself driving down the outback in Australia or through snow in Sweden or yeah. I don't know. It's just that's ended up being it's our like road trip a, anthem, hasn't it? It's like a sunscreen. You know what I mean? When you, nice. when you yeah, smell just, a certain yeah, yeah, yeah. you it's remember a certain favorite. holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah, it's not even necessarily our favourite song, but for the, yeah, yeah. For the trip. The memories. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good choice. So we started this interview talking about Crocs, and we need to end it talking about Crocs, because for Van Love this year, whether you whether it's already happened and whatever, but we're doing something different, aren't we, John, this year? Because yeah. we're celebrating Crocs fundamentally. It's the we? only way to celebrate, isn't it? Yeah. Like do the Croc Olympics, yeah. The Croc Olympics. So we've got a number of disciplines. Uh, croc wanging. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Subtitles. Croc wanging. <laughs> Hooker croc. Croc shot. We've, we've worked hard at these, haven't we? Yeah, the, I think that the names of them are the best. Best bit. Best going, yeah. yeah. I just can't wait. I love anything like that. Just to have yeah. a laugh and... But are you kicking anybody out who's not into crocs, I hope? I mean, we'll certainly treat them differently. Yeah. Like one side for them, one side for us. It's one of the questions. Mean? If you want to be in premium yeah. camping, you have to be a croc fan. Yeah, so I, like like, I like it. I like it. It's a hard no. Yeah. How's that going to work for Joe and I then? Well, you don't you're know on the other you're, side. You're, you don't know where you parked yet, do you? Yeah. <laughs> so you and John are beginning to be sharing a van then, and then Joe and I are done. Yeah. Sold. It's fine with me. We'll be like, Uppy downy bed in the back. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have have Barbie and the fireman singing like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait I think this is going to be absolute carnage uh, right that's brilliant thank you to Jess and John two unbelievably brilliant human beings if you don't follow them you probably already do because everybody does but if you don't go and find them I'll put some links below thank you very much guys and thank you for coming today to you drive cars much. stupidly up and down the runway it's quite fun in well, thanks for helping me tick things up my bucket list thank so you. Good what a totally awesome couple. Thank you, Jess and John from True Blue Travellers for coming to join us here at Elvington Airfield. It's been lovely to chat to you. Hope you guys watching have enjoyed it. We return to Elvington Airfield on July the 19th for Van Love Fest. You can find out more at vanlove.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.